want to do the movie first, or do we want to do the album? Do I think we should do the movie first, so you can end on a good note. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue. <laughs> so we had to watch a movie this week. Yes, Brian. I hope you're watching. This one's for you. <laughs> the movie was Days of Thunder. It was released or escaped, as if you will, <laughs> on June 27th of 1990. Grossed $157.9 million at the box office. Once again, proving my theory that popular does not equal good. Uh, hang on, let's 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 use the proper fucking soundbite here. But I needed Brian to hear that, and he's watching on Facebook. Popular does not equal good fucktard. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, Jimmy's gonna love hearing that. But but in that case, it's wrong. No, no, no. It's some some sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. It's all good. No. All right. So you 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 have the movie stars Tom Cruise as Cole Trickle. Yes. Uh, Robert Duvall as Harry Hogg, mm-hmm. Randy Quaid as Tim Dolland, mm-hmm. Nicole Kidman as Dr. Claire Lewicki, mm-hmm. and Michael Rooker as Rowdy Burns, John C. Riley as Burke, as uh, Buck Brotherton, and Carrie Elways as Russ Wheeler, and Fred Thompson, <laughs> Senator Fred Thompson, <laughs> mm-hmm. as Big John. I'm going to let you guys take the wheel. and Ooh, I'm just I gonna- like that pun. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys take the wheel, and I'm just going to jump in from here and there with my uh, with my takes. He enjoys the movie more than me. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, go ahead. Well, what I enjoy about the movie, to be to begin with, is that how it's, a coll- it's really a collection of stories from all around NASCAR, from all different drivers. Like, the different scenes and different things actually happened to a lot of different teams and drivers, and they put it together to make a cohesive movie. Really? Right, such as the ice cream eating bit. Okay. That happened to Benny Parsons while he was driving. He claimed he couldn't pit because his entire pit crew had gone to get ice cream. <laughs> now, the story is, they, like, they, they were doing the yeah, race, yeah, yeah. and he had to pit, but he wasn't able to pit because his pit crew was gone getting ice cream. It's not like in the movie where, no, I'm sorry, you can't pit. We're eating ice cream. Right. And it wasn't a fight thing. Yeah. But that was a story that had happened in the NASCAR. And all the, I mean, the stuff uh, between with Big John. Who is, by the way, patterned after Bill France. Yes. yes. And the meeting was a meeting that happened between Jalen Earnhardt Sr. and Jeff Bodine about, about getting along. Yeah, they had all these little, and that's what I love the most about the movie well, I, I, that it's a NASCAR history. Well, okay, here we go. <laughs> First off, the characters are one hundred percent based on fucking actual drivers. Mm-hmm. Cole Trickle is Jeff fucking Gordon. Uh, I, well, and Tim Richmond, mostly Jeff Gordon. Actually, given the time frame, probably more Tim Richmond. Yes, but became fucking Jeff Gordon yeah, as the young punk hotshot driver. Rowdy Burns is unquestionably Dale Earnhardt, Jun- Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Tim Dolland is 100% fucking Richard Childress. Rick Hendricks. Nah, he's more... Because uh, Rick Hendrick actually owns um, the City Chevrolet dealership that they use as a sponsor. Okay, Richard Childress was also a uh, dealership owner, though. Yep. So I and I I thought I'm, I'm sorry I got one fucking dude. It's bag. okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm um, here for you. No, you're not. Hold my hand. No. <laughs> um. And uh, like I said, Big John. Yeah. Is Bill France. Yep. Go ahead. The, well, it, the the only thing I have. There's no way they let fucking people race like that legitimately just slamming oh, into no, the fucking... no, no, no. I mean, that uh, was well, like that over was, the fucking That was a lot of stuff happened in the 60s and 70s. Okay. Not so much the 90s. But again, this was based off a lot of stories that had gone around NASCAR at the time. My Another one of my favorite, Bill Elliott was actually one of the drivers when um, uh, Cole Trickle goes out and smashes into a car in a victory lap. Yeah. Bill Elliott did that to Dale Earnhardt Sr., Yes. Yeah, so like I said, it's it's just the the stories that if 
the NASCAR fans know the stories. Yeah. But to see like things acted out, my only problem with the movie, and this is a problem with every racing movie, Ford versus Ferrari did it. Every racing movie does it. All right, you'll know what it is. You'll know all know what it is when you hear. It. There always is a neck and neck race, mm-hmm. right? And it's neck and neck. All of a sudden, we shift up another fucking gear. <laughs> Why weren't you in that gear to fucking begin with? I mean, in the Fast and Furious movies, there's so much fucking shifting on a straightaway. Oh. <laughs> but that, yeah, but that's my my only thing is like, oh, my, he's he's shifting again. What gear is he in now? It's like. <laughs> He never downshifted. He's in tenth gear. Well, like the main the main story is you know this, you know young hotshot young hotshot driver who was never really in NASCAR before just comes yeah. there. Yep, just and open wheel. He borrows somebody's car, mm-hmm. and he starts running laps, and he's running them faster than the guy whose car it was. Yeah, but he's not running laps like a NASCAR driver, which tears up the car. Correct. You know and right. But also you have a redemption story with the um, the crew chief because he had resigned a year earlier when um, Bretherton had died. That's right. And he resigned because instead of taking like any heat from it. Mm-hmm. So it's a redemption story from so many angles. No, it's not. And it, <laughs> That's right. Robert Duvall was out farming his fields. Yeah. Yep. And, yeah. And, and built built a car, you know. Um, let, let's talk about Harry Hogg for a minute. Okay, okay. And we'll t- since we're talking about Harry Hogg, we'll talk about Buck Brotherton and Rowdy Burns and Big John and Russ Wheeler. Could the fucking names get <laughs> any more stereotypically Southern? Well, yes, kind of. <sighs> well, no. Oh, oh, but, and, and hang on. And I love John C. Riley, but... My pappy was bu- Buddy Bretherton. It was your fucking dad. Your pap. Yeah, I okay, but also Russ Wheeler was designed after Rusty Wallace. So no shit. I think another one great story from the filming of the movie because they filmed this on actual tracks. As they're racing around, like the the show cars for mm-hmm. two or three laps just to get footage. Mm-hmm. The drivers kept saying they wanted to be in the movie and were slowing down and speeding up <laughs> just to get on camera. Oh, my God. Yeah, and then a few of them had cameos in the pits, like yep. Petty. Yeah, yeah uh, and bitch, r- bitching about oh, drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's great. No, it's fucking it's, not. It's a, I, <laughs> yes, and I agree that no one bangs in the, in the 90s and the 80s. No one banged around like that, but in the 70s and 60s, Holy shit. Yeah. Those races, if you watch an old Kale Yarborough race, which you probably have never will. No, I, I mean, won't. They, I mean, those guys, I mean, there was them beating and banging on each other. Those cars didn't survive the end of those races. Well, it's 108 minutes of my life. I'm never going to get back. <laughs> I've had so many minutes in that movie. I think that might be, besides Yellowbeard, I think I've watched this movie. I went home and said, Ryan, you know what? You know what? I got to watch for... Uh, next week, he said, I said, Days of Thunder. He said, oh, great movie. <laughs> and and on the way here, Jimmy finally, I finally got a hold of Jimmy, and I told him he was in the car, so I know what I'm going to be watching tomorrow night. I told him what we were reviewing. And Brian says, you bend this bitch the least little bit, I'm going to tear your balls off. My favorite rowdy <laughs> quote. Fuck you, Brian. I, this is your fault. My, my favorite quote in the movie is from uh, Randy Quaid's character. Where he says, Tim I'm, out, I, I'm out there, I'm with the sponsors, I'm kissing them in the air, and what do I see? Roger, like monkeys fucking a football. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> fucking Brian said that. Was it's it this like, morning or yesterday? <laughs> I use, I, I, to be fair, I do use the monkeys fucking a football yeah. thing. Yeah. But I did not learn that from this movie. I've used that for years. Oh, uh, God, this movie's fucking terrible. Uh, moving on. Go ahead. I I, don't, I mean I really can't say much. I mean uh, the only honest allegory between this and Top Top Gun, where you have someone best in his field, cocky, has a rival, gets in a crash, yes, loses his uh, his um, confidence, his confidence falls gets, for the falls, nurse. A, falls for a woman, gets his confidence back, and then his biggest rival becomes his best friend. Yes, it's almost literally the same plot. It is the same plot, and even. Both movies, Tom Cruise shows up on a motorcycle. The story. Yes. The story is one giant fucking cliche. Yes, it is. 
but uh, it's an enjoyable uh, movie. No, it's not. <laughs> Bill says, uh, Brian says, Bill, I love the scene when they agree to not agree about driving the rental car. Yep, that's another yes. good one. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, yes because that's going to happen with no fucking police involvement. <laughs> oh, and oh, suspend disbelief. Fuck it's, you and feed you fish heads. Come on, oh, you've yeah. seen how many Fast and Furious movies? You're Zero. Just, oh, that's right. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot about that. But <laughs> The dialogue is painful. Not all of it. Is there even, the what, dialogue is fucking painful. When the two guys are even coming out of the hospital, they're racing their fucking wheelchairs out. Yep. Yes. The, the story is one giant cliche. <sighs> In the words of our illustrious friend in Utah, Mr. Andy Galgosi. Oh, oh, this I can't wait to hear. Oh. Far too many people like to consume a steady garbage diet consisting of high production value, hollow plots, trite dialogue, and lousy acting. Talking bad, story badder. Splosions good, more splosions gooder. Says Mr. Star yeah, Wars yeah, Man. Yeah, Andy, I have seen your movie collection. Yes. You hypocritical bastard. How about it? <laughs> I have seen that collection. Don't you even, <laughs> don't you even for one bit say anything about that. Oh, the Indiana Jones fan is going to freaking piss on Days of Thunder? No, I, I, I don't, I can't speak to Andy's DVD, to Andy's movie collection. I posted that I had to watch this cinematic <laughs> oh, fucking I saw. turd. And then you replied and tagged me and him. Yeah. And this is what Andy, this oh, is I know what he wrote. quote from Andy. And I, I ignored it. A cinematic fucking turd. It is not. This is a giant fucking shitball. You watched it with Ryan, right? Yeah. You're going to watch Co- it again, times. again with Jimmy. Yes. I forced Jesse and Alistair to watch this with me. <laughs> Did you tie them down? You shouldn't have to force anybody. It's a great movie. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> Uh, hang on, what's wrong with the dialogue? Jim leaves work every day shifting his Bronco like Cole Screen and goddamn it, son of a bitch. That's because he doesn't... <laughs> wait, wait. That's because Jim doesn't know how to properly shift a fucking standard vehicle. Oh, bullshit. And what's wrong with the dialogue is it's fucking hackneyed. It's shit. It's garbage. My fucking 14-year-old kid who likes explosions and Minecraft and shit like that... Gave this movie two and a half stars. Out of out of out five. Of, out of five, that, you wing nut. Well, it could have been out of three. No, it's two and a half out of five. Jesse, who, you know, has impeccable taste in things, much like his father, gave this movie two and a half stars. It's like uncorking a champagne bottle. It really is. It's like, oh, you're gonna hear it all now. It's like <laughs> I give this movie a generous Two and a half stars. I can understand why people like this shit. I really can. (laughs) The next time you want me to watch this, you better bring a fucking gun. (laughs) Like I said, for what? what? When I pull it, what's the gun for? Because that's the only way I'm sitting down and watching this is with a gun to my head. Oh, I thought to shoot the TV. (laughs) Oh my god. I don't know what he wanted the gun for. In the bin. Now, just... now, now you know why. When you were torqued last week and I pulled that fucking movie out, I couldn't fucking read it. Uh, it's fucking so, terrible. So, Speaking of movies. Uh, wait, no, wait. Finish. Oh, let's finish this. Oh, I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going four and a half. Oh, is that new? No, that was that. That's uh, a relic from oh, March. Shit, you cleaned up. I didn't even notice. Wow. You cleaned up a little bit down here. That's a dartboard. Yeah, that's from Mark's. Oh, wow. That's from Mark's. Um, I put Mark's piano up. Right. I'm going to start teaching myself how to play piano. Oh, oh cool. Boy. Yep, I uh, I got out Mark's piano. I've, I've had it for four years. Um, oh. I've had it for four years, and now it's time to put it to use. All right, so you gave it four out of five stars. I gave it two and a half out of five. Oh. I gave it four and a half. I give it eight out of eight tires. Because they're matched and they're stickers. <laughs> Love this movie. Matched right and staggered I special. Tell, this, this in my top five movies of all time. This is in my, this is in my top five movies of all time. I love, love, love this movie. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to yell. Okay. Don't I'm yell. not going to yell. I just have to take them off. You make my fucking brain hurt. But it's a great movie. No, it's not. 
it's fucking drivel. It, it Top Gun sucked. I didn't and like this Top, is Gun. Top Gun. On See, fucking I didn't, I didn't like Top Gun. You know what's funny? At the time, there was at no the, beach volleyball. At, at, at the time, <clears throat> Top Gun came out. That was like a big blockbuster. Everybody mm-hmm. fucking loved it. Recently, when when Top Gun Maverick came out, I rewatched Top Gun, and I'm like, this movie shit. Yeah, and so is Days of Thunder. No, Days of Thunder could use like Days of Thunder, like no trickle. Don't ever fucking <laughs> remake this movie. No, not remake it, sequelize. Don't it. ever fucking do a sequel. Uh, well, I watched. You brought up uh, yes. Maverick, Top Gun Maverick. You know why I watched that fucking turd in the punch bowl? Why? The only reason I watched it is it was nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? It wasn't bad. But Best Picture? Uh, Fuck I, you I in the ass with uh, a fucking no. mackerel. I, I, I don't, I don't think there. it would best be Best Picture. There's no. probably much better it didn't, stuff. It, thank God it didn't fucking win. But really to put that fucking turd up for best picture <laughs> jesus christ so fast fast fury fast 10 is is playing this weekend you will not be going i haven't watched one through fucking nine they're all the same i they are no not the shit same. they are not the same i they, would they I, put a fiero in space i would I, w- I, I might take the bullet rather than you watch what? the Fast and Furious. That's something movies. we ought to do a whole show. We can review all the movies. Ooh. I, no, you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. I'll loan you the equipment. Did you put that in the I bucket? I won't fucking do it. Oh, what? Fast and Furious 1 through 9? One of them. He'd fucking kill me. No, I told you. Everything I put in, I hadn't watched. Okay. Terrible. It, that, that's a fucking bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Unless you want to see me have an aneurysm live on the air. It's not a, you can even watch the Fast and Furious movies out of order, and it won't make them confusing, like I did. It's the same <laughs> My fucking movie. But anyway, so all right, you give it four and a half. You give yes. it eight times. It's perfect. It's perfect. No, movie. it's not. It's perfect shit. We're done. We're moving uh, on. I forgot about the story.